going on? It's your boy, What Can I Change, aka Lockjaw. So let's just hop right into this video. <clears throat> There's not going to be any clips or anything. You know, you can go check them out for yourself. But I'm going to talk about her. Here's my issue with Sierra, okay? I don't know her. I'm sure she's maybe nice. Maybe she's not. Maybe she's not nice at all. I don't know. Here's my issue with her and her... <clears throat> things of body positivity. I saw her Calvin Klein video, how I gain weight, blah, blah, blah videos, okay? My point with her is that the fact that she, she says, oh, let me take these pictures that I'm uncomfortable with. You know, I put the Calvin Klein video down below, but pretty much this is the gist of it. She's taking pictures with Calvin Klein stuff on because Calvin Klein is trying to do the thing for body positivity, blah, 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 whatever. Which I think she did the video because she was obviously gonna get paid to do it. Um, I'm sure she's gonna be like, oh yeah, Calvin Klein. But she's saying, I don't like taking pictures from low angles because it gives her like a double chin. And she doesn't like taking um, pictures of her sitting down because of the rolls. And she's like, I'm trying to teach girls that it's okay to let yourself out there. Like, I'm taking pictures of these great angles and all this. It's like, hold up, hold up, hold up. <coughs> Sierra! You're not taking regular pictures, okay? Her pictures are not pictures that everybody can just take. She's taking a great photo shoot picture with a cameraman who knows what he's doing, okay? A photographer who's giving him... These aren't just pictures like, click. All right, let's put it up on Instagram. They're still great pictures, okay? You can still make the pictures look great, okay? Fat or not, if you're taking the pictures like that, and a, fo a photo shoot where you get a person who does your makeup and all that kind of stuff. Come on, man. Come on, man. Those are not regular pictures, Sierra. In, in, okay, I'll say this before I continue. Yes, I did see the part where she took uh, pictures without makeup. I saw that at the end. And it didn't look that much different because the lighting was so great. So, it didn't really make that he, that big of a difference. Her eyes just looked, look, to me, her eyes were the only thing that really looked different compared to her other pictures with makeup. She did it side by side. Um, listen, here's my problem with all these, these people who do these kind of things. Mainly Sierra because she's the biggest one that I've seen who does this all the time. Says, oh, let me take pictures of this. Let me try this girl's diet. Let me try this person's clothes on. One size fits all. You know? That's, 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 that's just the gist of who she is and that's all she really does to me. You're not, you're not really helping anyone, in my opinion. You're not, you're not, all you're showing people is that, once again, my issue is, once again, you have to show people that they have to be beautiful, or they have to, they have to see themselves as beautiful, whether they're fat or not. And we're getting so close into, um, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> we're getting so into this thing where it's like, oh, man. Let's go take pictures of ourselves with our fat bellies out so we can be like, oh man, we're so beautiful. You know, it's the same thing that other people, it's the same thing Instagram models do. They take pictures with their booty cheeks out, you know, to be like, to get people to say things. You know, I'm, I have a problem with both. You know, I don't mind taking a picture if you're just like, hey, I'm at the fall, fall festival, what's good? You know, okay then, okay, cool. But when you're taking pictures specifically to have people, for you to go in there and say, I'm beautiful no matter what I look like and those kind of things you know I I don't I just don't get that because I don't think you're really seeing how blessed you truly are yes you may be fat Sierra and yes in this world may, fat may not be the best thing to be you know if guys I mean you are married so that's kind of out the picture so but for guys to notice you or for other women to notice you whatever you know but here's the point though here's the point you're still extremely blessed even if you're fat you still got both your arms here. You still got both your legs, both your eyes, both ears, and a mouth, okay? And so, imagine if you were not that. What if you were a tragedy, was tragically burned, okay? You get burns all over your face, right? Okay? And all that kind of stuff. You're just scarred up to, to the bottom up. Do you think it's necessary to take pictures of yourself then and say you're beautiful? In my opinion, the answer is no. You don't have to be aesthetically pleasing to these people, okay? Burn marks and all that's not going to be aesthetically pleasing necessarily. But why do we have to just break the person down to just what we see, right? We have to go out of our way, okay? Say it was a burn victim. We would have to go out of our way 
to tell them to take off their shirts and show us their face so we can say, you're so beautiful, you're so brave, and all these things. It's like, what does it matter, okay? Okay? If you're a burn victim, and I'm just going, let's just be real for a second. Let's just be real for a second. Just because you're a burn victim or something like that doesn't make you a better person than anyone, right? You had a tragedy happen to you, okay? It doesn't make you a better person than anybody. It doesn't mean that you're automatically braver than other people. You just happen to be burning and somebody else is not. It's, I feel like it's the same thing um, fat people do. The fat people think that if they take a picture of themselves sitting down and show the role, that it's, it, it's, it's better than other people who take pictures doing just normal things. Like, oh, wow, you're so brave to do these things. You know, um, to me, it's just... These things don't make you inherently a better person. Like, to do these body positive pictures don't make you a better person. And I feel like that's what it comes off like to me. It's just like, we break ourselves down to if we can show our bodies and say we're beautiful, we're so brave, and we're these things. And another thing is, <sighs> we're just going to keep using the burn victim analogy. Like, they can't take pictures like you can and do those things. But why does it matter? What if this burn victim is an amazing artist, okay? What if this burn victim is an uh, amazing cook and they can still do those things you know they might not look aesthetically pleasing to you okay but what if they have other skills and they can do other things right why don't we praise those things why don't I would like to praise Sierra for her ability to put a video together I'll give her that her videos aren't bad if she is the one editing them and doing them her video contents are great but I feel like I can't even give her those compliments because half the videos I have to watch of her of her showing her body and throwing on tops and doing this diet and trying this person's diet and trying to be a model and, or not being a model and her, oh I want you to take these pictures for body positivity because I'm working with Calvin Klein and like I can't really even give her anything because she makes it so hard for me not to focus on her body and then she's upset when people focus on her body like why does she gain weight and why is she fat and why do people comment because Sierra like, that's the whole gist of your dang channel. It's mainly about you and your body. It's a lot of it. A lot of your content is about that now. All the try-ons, the one-size-fits-all, you have your smaller friend put on something, and then you put on your size 14, whatever else, you know. Then you do these things like, I tried this person's diet for a week or something like that. <clears throat> or, I did a photo shoot. But not like you would think, you know, I do it. And I'm going to eat a donut because I know the models don't. Let me take a pictures. Let me try to redo these pictures of um maybe she doesn't do the uh, the diet ones. I think I'm thinking about uh, Michelle. Um not Michelle McDaniel, but another Michelle. So she does those pictures of oh let me take a picture like the Victoria's Secret models who don't want her in there. You know, I'm gonna take my pictures a body positive picture because obviously anything Victoria's Secret does is not body positive at all. So if she takes a picture of it, it's automatically body positive because she's fat. All right, it, it, look, is that that's what it breaks down to, right? If anybody takes a picture of somebody, if the person's fat, and then it's the person who's thin, okay? And if I take a picture in the same outfit as the thin person did, is it now a body positive picture, right? That's pretty much what she's saying. Oh, I'm going to take a picture of me compared to this Victoria's Secret model, and now mine's body positive compared to theirs, basically... I'm fat, she's not, so mine are body positive and she's not because she's not fat. That's so, that, that's so ridiculous, man. And so, that's my problem. And like, people who do that kind of stuff and they say, oh, I can't believe people comment on my body so much. Well, duh, that's all you ever do. <laughs> like, I know there's a lot of big women and a lot of big men who make channels, a lot of videos, okay? There's one big woman that uh, I saw, she makes videos, and she, I, I never ever see her really comment on her body. I don't see her taking any pictures, I don't see her getting on here and talking about it. She just makes react. she's a commentator. So she makes, not reaction videos, she makes commentary videos on the industry. You know, like, uh, uh, the beauty industry, um, the celebrity industry, stuff like that. That kind of, those kind of videos. And, yeah, she's big. She is fat. But, People don't follow her because she's trying to be not that. You know what I'm saying? People don't follow her because she's body positive. She just makes great content. You know, she makes, she gets the news, she does her research. Nobody even cares that she's really fat. You know, she's got, I think she got like a million subscribers. So it's like, and I go through her content and I'm like, oh, this, this person just makes content. Wow, well, look at that. Huh. Isn't that something crazy? Not everybody has to be me, you know? 
sometimes I've gotten caught up in, oh, if you're fat, you need to make videos like I do. These are the stuff I like to talk about, you know? <laughs> I've always liked talking about this kind of stuff. I was like, man, <laughs> we trying to knock my stuff over. I've been trying to talk, I've been talking about this stuff since I was, I was maybe not young, but probably at least 10 years now. Um, so, dude, Sierra, we get it. You're fat. You'll probably never not be fat. Based off the way you speak, you'll probably never not be fat. Okay? You don't really care for that kind of stuff. You don't really care for the weight loss or the, the health things. And I, I, I can feel you. I don't, I don't care if you care about losing weight. But to me, it doesn't sound like you even care about being healthy at all. Your little weight gain uh, video. You know, Sierra, I don't people come out and say it. I'm not even going to get out here and just try to sugarcoat it. I don't believe in you. And this is what I mean. I, to me, you're fake. It is what it is. To me, you're not real. You know, you do all these things for views. I don't think you're really out here helping the people. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But based off what I'm seeing and what I'm doing, the comments you make in the videos you make in the um, body positive and bashing models, it's not something I will ever jive with. You know, you know, and I don't feel like you could do much better. You know, like I said, your content's great. Well, you're not, the the way you make your content is great. I think you got a great personality, or what? From what I'm seeing, either that or you're a great actor. But you know, I think you got a great bubbly personality. Like that part of you, I can jive with like that. But if it, I don't know if it's real, man. I feel like you're just putting on a front for the camera, man. I really do. And so, I understand you're a big YouTuber. You can't just, but uh, you know. And, you know, you got your little side businesses that you do. You got your little podcast now. I understand all that. Sierra Unfiltered. I see it. You know, I watch these things. And they're not bad. But these videos you keep making aren't good. You're not really spreading no message of body positivity. Which body positivity has really just become pictures of fat girls. <laughs> Let's just be real. It's just pictures of fat girls. And girls put it, fat girls putting their pictures up and saying, Hey, I believe in myself. I'm beautiful no matter what. You know, and I'm like... That's why I'm with the body neutrality people. It's like, who cares? Okay? Your body is there for a function. You need to do the best you can to make it function well. If you happen to be fat right now, you happen to be fat right now. I'm fat right now. You know, it is what it is. You know, I don't need to go any further than that. You're just fat. Now, what you choose to do from this point on is your decision. You know, I'm not about to be all in your business telling you this and that. You're smart. You know. Okay? You are fat. Okay? I don't need to tell you every day. It's not my place to get put on a t-shirt that says obesity kills. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. I said it's not my place to put on a shirt that says obesity kills. Yeah. <laughs> you hear me. <laughs> and it's not my place to get all in your business, okay? If you want to be fat, and you are fat, that is just a fact of life for now, okay? It doesn't make you better than anybody. It doesn't make you less than anybody. It does not need, it does not, listen ladies, it does not mean you need to go put up a picture of yourself on Instagram. Your worth is not in no picture of yourself. Your worth is in everything you are. You're much, you're much more than just a body pic. I understand that because men and all of us have sexualized you and objectified you for so long. Okay, even men get object, objectified, but women have been objectified for a while too. So I'm going to speak for the women. You don't feel like you have to put these pictures up for women or men. Okay, I understand. Maybe some women just want to do it just to do it. But I feel like that's just you being kind of, uh, you know, just the society we live in. That we feel like we have to put our body on pics and show how beautiful we are, but we don't. You're much better than that. You're much more worth than that. You have skills, talents, gifts. Use those. Show me those. Show me how well you can do, how well you can work, how well you talk, how well you sing. How will you do anything? And if you're not necessarily talented in one area, that's fine. Show me your jack of all trades. You can do a little bit of here, a little bit of that, you know? If you're going to put yourself on YouTube, that's what I like to see, you know? That's greatness. That's beautiful. That's amazing to me. I don't need to see your body. You don't have nothing to prove to me, okay? You don't have nothing to prove to us that you are beautiful. You got nothing to prove to us to show yourself like that. You don't have to prove nobody, nothing to nobody, okay? Fat or not fat. You got nothing to prove, ladies. Ladies who are thin, who, who maybe have to come feel like they don't like their body because they're too thin. But they're not going through an eating disorder or nothing. They just happen to be really thin and they're, they're trying to look better. You got nothing to prove to me either. Okay? And for the women who are fit, you got nothing to prove to me neither. You know, you don't have to prove that, uh, you know, I can be fit and get yourself in the gym. But you ain't got nothing to prove. If you want to work out, cool. That's great. 
Okay, your body is what it is right now. Now, what you choose to do from this point on is your prerogative. Okay. Now, for my men, right quick, I understand we get in the same way. We want to put up every gym picture we ever do, and if we don't get in the gym and we make excuses, maybe the gym is just not for you. It don't make you no less of a man not to go to the gym. Okay. It don't make you no less of a man if you don't go to the gym. Okay. If you don't lift weights, if you can't bench 225. Okay. You can't curl this. You ain't got big biceps, a big chest. Forget all that. That don't make you no more of a man. So many things. So many things make you more of a man, okay? Be aware of those things. Don't don't reduce yourself down to uh, body size, okay? Don't reduce yourself down to your body, okay? You're more than that too, man. So, men, get out there. Make something of yourself. You don't have to take these pictures of your, your abs and a great body or you at the gym all the time, okay? I know you do other things. So don't feel like you have to put yourself out here for these women. Once we can get these things through, we quit making sex and all that kind of stuff to our top priority to get the next girl on Tinder, to get the next guy on Tinder, and to just go have a one night affair or whatever we're going to do and then say our separate ways. Once we take our bodies out of it, and I'm not saying like if you're married and all that, obviously if you're married, having sex and all that, it's cool, you know. I expect you to be those things, but I don't want it to be reduced down to that, you know, you know, I don't want it to be reduced down, you know, marriage should be more, much more than that, and the same thing with relationships we have before marriage, it should be reduced down to, oh, she has a great body, let me go smash her, oh, he has a great body, let me go bang him for the night so I can tell my girlfriends, you know, man, it is no, man, I, I'm getting into it right now, Sierra, you didn't sit me on a tangent, okay, man, we are not made to have sex with women all the time. It doesn't make you any better. I mean, I understand the whole I don't want to be a player thing. I get it. Like, I get it. All the mistakes i made with women, i thought, and it, I, I'm ashamed of mine. I'm ashamed of every girl I've had any relationships with like that. All the girls I've had intercourse with, I, I, I regret it. <clears throat> I don't think it makes me any more of a man. It didn't make me any more of a man. It didn't make me any less of a man. You know, <clears throat> you know but going out there and doing what I did. Um, for no reason, really, for no reason, and no, it didn't make me feel like no player or anything, you know, so let's just get off that, man, let's just go out there and be great, getting a thousand women is not great, even though that's what's sold to us, even in these little ads that we see on YouTube all the time, you know, sometimes you see it with great women, good looking women, you know, and I'm not saying that it's, uh, if a guy looks great or whatever, and he gets a woman, I mean, that's cool. I mean, I mean, I don't expect him to get nobody. But I don't think we need to go out here and get a thousand women to be something. That doesn't mean we need to swear off women either, you know. I don't think we need to go that far. But, oh, women are nothing, you know. It's the same thing with that. And then my ladies, you know, I don't know. Ladies, don't feel like you have to have a guy, you know. We are just men at the end of the day. I understand that, that there is some social status that comes with that. But, you know, you don't have to put all your things into a man. I say all this stuff to say all this, man. The body has become nothing more than a sexual object that we want to put on display. No matter what we look like, we want everybody to know that we love ourselves and we're beautiful. When it's really like, who cares? Like, that's the body you have, okay? What, you know, dude? That 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 person, man. I don't remember the person's name, but that person who makes those commentary videos is a fat girl. And it's so amazing to me because she just makes great content and she doesn't keep going into the fact that she's fat. You know? I like that. It's like, dang, I'm actually seeing this girl for who she is. I don't, I'm not even really thinking about how she's fat. I'm actually thinking about what she's saying. Right? And that's where I wanted to get to. Like, even if a girl has a great body, you know, and she's making videos, let's just watch it because she makes great videos. You know? Right? Yeah, it's the same thing, man. Let's watch these people because they just make great videos. Not because of how they look or we feel like we have to comment on their weight. Videos are great videos. <laughs> Same thing for you. Okay? Alright. Sierra, come on. You gotta do better. You gotta do better. But like I said, you know, maybe she's Maybe she's doing the best she can. I don't know her, but what I'm seeing, I think she's too caught up in her body. That's my opinion. Comment below what you think. You know, let me get up out of here. I'm, I can talk all day about this kind of stuff. You know, I'm trying to give you guys more videos than just me. Uh, instead of always doing a, uh, I love doing the commentary videos, but um, 
you know, I think it's nice to get myself on here and actually talk about topics like I do in my podcast. So it's nice to do. So y'all have a man. I got too many things going on. Uh, y'all have a good one. Comment below what you think. Um, is the body everything? Are you for everybody taking pictures of their fat cells just to say they're beautiful? Thin, fit. Do you think that's necessary? Do you think our bodies are just made to for people to just see? Or are they made just for a function? And we got minds and hearts that we can actually, you know, do stuff with. You know, are we actually more than just our bodies? Because, I mean, you know what? I'm going to let y'all decide. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to let y'all go with that. Y'all have a good one.